Well, this is Theistic Scuffles again, and I would like to talk to you today about this modern phenomenon of Brexit. Many people did not expect that Great Britain would vote to leave the European Union uh, with such unanimity or with a great majority of its citizens. One of the things that I find really interesting about this, and this is an area or aspect of Brexit that is very relevant to Christianity and Christian controversies which have occurred in our uh, near American past is that whether or not you uh, exercise local political control or whether or not local political control is preempted through a centralized or federalized agency. And what we've seen in America and in a lot of countries which previously joined the European Union is that they lost a great deal of local control. So it's a really significant issue. Um, and again, this is something in the history of Christianity which has come up numerous times. One of the things, there's a, a course that Liberty University offers called the History of Baptists. So it kind of is a survey of Baptist history uh, going back from its um, first, uh, the first separatists in England and kind of traces it through the modern day times including American Baptists with the Southern Baptist Convention and the Northern Baptist Convention. At any rate, in this course, Ergen Kainer discusses the how the Civil War was relevant to the United States citizens in terms of resolving issues. It was relevant to them in the sense that it wasn't just about slavery. It wasn't just about whether or not uh, people who were brought here from other countries as slaves, as human property, were able to obtain their freedom, or whether they had lost that freedom and would just be, just be slaves on the plantation. The an issue that didn't just espouse one topic, though that one topic was important. It espoused many issues, and you could also see a, if not a theological, certainly an ethical dimension as well. If you are a local church guy, are you going to be in favor of a centralized government or against it? You're going to be against it. And thus you see the North and the South having lines out, drawn uh, also based on a the Civil War, tradition. excuse me. And so what we have going on here, um, Ergen Kainer delves into this a little bit more in detail. What is explored is how the American Baptists were, were engaged in this crisis of, what, of local versus federal or central control or authority. So really what you have going on it's not just an issue about slavery, but what you have is, do the states have rights to determine whether or not they will allow slavery in their state, or does the federal government preempt that issue? And that's really what we see going on in Brexit as well. Does the, does the local country and its local councils have civil authority for how the people will be governed, or will the governing agency be making rules at some far-off location uh, at the headquarters of the church. European Union? This argument that I'm now making for you is the exact same fight you hear every single time somebody fr flies, uh, what is it called, stars and bars, the Confederate flag. What do they say? States' rights, right? States' rights is just a fancy way of saying the civil equivalent to a local church issue. If you were a local church, autonomy of the local church, priesthood of a believer, you could, in theory, agree with states' rights over a federal centralized government because a federal government isn't that, in fact, and, and a, a really, presbytery. So really what's, what's happening with Brexit and why perhaps the great British, Britain citizens are choosing to exit uh, the European Union has a little bit, little bit to do with the loss of local control or autonomy. And that, that was the very same issue that was really played up uh, in the Civil War and when people were taking sides uh, with the Unions and the Confederates. And obviously the Confederates were on the side of wanting to retain a local control and allowing their own states to determine what their ideological position would be. I believe it's uh, a obviously. local church issue and we come back to the issue of can a national group that volunteers speak to the people that sent the volunteers? One of the um, primary issues that is going on with the Brexit vote or the vote for Great Brit Britain citizens to exit the European Union is whether or not local councils and administrative body, municipal bodies, administrative bodies, 
can retain that sense of control where the citizens feel like they are still self-governing, which is a key principle within Western governments and Western civilization. The, uh, the principle that a moral people uh, is able to govern themselves well. Thank you.